blocking the streets off. Another guy came behind him, hit him, he spins out of control and hits the post. So that's what happened. Where did the driver go? He pulled off. He left. But they're going to blame it on, they're going to blame it on the protesting though. Right. That's right, for sure. Right. Being in the street is against the law. And so as long as we are on private property on the sidewalks, we're supposed to have the right of assembly. Once we get into the street and we start impeding traffic, that's when we break the law. But that's what we're out here doing in civil disobedience, right? But just watch yourself because when they start coming out, that's when they'll do what we call invasion of the body snatchers. And they'll just come and start snatching and grabbing you and taking you away. So just watch yourself. We're from Denver, Colorado. Uh, we came out here on a freedom ride, seven of us from Denver, Colorado. I was speaking at the Denver Faith and Justice Conference and a white evangelical pastor asked me, he said, how do we show solidarity with the black community and the brown community struggle? And I said, why don't you drive to Ferguson with me and get arrested? And uh, I just said it knowing that I would go. But next thing I know, these uh, brave souls, they join in the van with me. And so, yeah, we're just prepping um, kind of just with that knowledge and that responsibility and, and getting ready for it. And are you all prepared to, to get arrested while you're here? Yeah, I think so. I mean, yeah. Yeah, that's what it takes, then.